Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be going over the big severe weather event that's expected next week across portions of the United States. We'll also be going over the flooding concern for the rest of the day today and everything that's happening over the United States for the next several days as we head closer to Cyber Monday. Let's first begin with what's happening though today across the United States which we have a lot of interesting features right now. We have a lot of dead space right now across areas in the Midwest and Ohio Valley. That's due to a dominating high pressure system. On the other hand, we have a trough that is very slow moving and it's really not doing much of anything in terms of directional speed. So it's very slow right now and that's bringing a lot of showers and storms to areas in Texas. We'll have rounds of that here over the next 24 to 48 hours due to it being basically a standstill trough. We also have blizzard warnings actually in effect for some areas there in western Texas, which is not common at all for this time of the year. So again, very crazy sight to see, even though we're now in late November. So overall, the jet stream for right now, this is our cutoff low that we have. It's really, again, going to be slow moving for the next 24 to 36 hours. It will eventually start to speed up and move quickly off to the northeast. That'll eventually bring some showers and maybe a couple of storms back up into the Ohio Valley and northeast heading into maybe later this weekend. Eventually by next week, we'll dry out a little bit across the United States, but we have to watch very closely for another dip in the jet stream. That'll be a trough that dips going into late Tuesday. That could really ramp up some severe weather across portions of the southern plains and as well as into the Dixie Valley. This will be an area to watch for maybe some severe weather, potentially a severe weather outbreak as well. Ingredients are really going to be very favorable for potentially even maybe even a tornado outbreak. So we have to watch this again very closely as we get closer. But first, let's begin with today. Again, we'll have some showers and maybe a few storms on go for the next 24 to 48 hours. Some snow again back out in West Texas. This could lead to some flash flooding, but eventually going to late Saturday into Sunday, this trough race is well off to the northeast so the rain will be very minimal it looks like going beyond Saturday and we're gonna have a pretty decent amount of snow accumulation back over in West Texas and southeast New Mexico overall potentially half a foot to a foot of snow here over the next 24 hours or so before this trough finally moves off to the north and east but a lot of that snow is gonna fall really this afternoon as well as this evening and to accompany that we do have ongoing winter uh, storm warnings in effect for areas in southeast New Mexico as well as West Texas there's a small little slip of a blizzard warning actually ongoing there in West Texas as well near the mountain region. So that's just something to keep in mind there. And overall for the rest of the day today, very small marginal threat of severe weather near Galveston. So south of Houston, Texas and near Corpus Christi, maybe an isolated brief tornado is not out of the question. Isolated damaging winds. Going into tomorrow, we actually have a better chance for maybe a couple of tornadoes. Low level jet will increase a little bit. So across about four or five states there from Florida back through Southeast Texas, a possibility for maybe an isolated tornado or two may exist going into tomorrow so keep that in mind again if you have any plans also for the rest of the day today we still have a moderate threat of flash flooding on going back down near houston there's a lot of rain that's already fallen there and it's going to continue it looks like at least for the next 24 hours now let's move into the big event that's expected next week we already have an enhanced risk of severe weather for next tuesday this is a very far out forecast by the way there was a slight risk a few days ago for the same exact day so obviously forecast confidence is increasing the potential for all modes of severe weather including tornadoes will likely be possible here going into Tuesday so make sure you have a plan in place early and make sure you're prepared we already have an enhanced risk of severe weather across Louisiana extreme eastern Texas western Mississippi and southern Arkansas this slight risk goes all the way back through Tennessee and all the way through east Texas so again make sure you have a plan in place early and get prepared because again severe weather is definitely gonna be possible heading into Tuesday so beginning late Tuesday morning, we'll have some shower and storm activity during the morning hours, it looks like for now, unless timing really changes. By the afternoon, a lot of that storm activity will start to shift off to the east. So again, the greatest severe weather concern will likely be across areas in Louisiana and Mississippi. So again, be prepared in those areas. Eventually going to Wednesday, we could see some severe weather unfold as well in the southeast. It will be a lower chance back down in areas like Alabama, Georgia, and Florida, but we could still see some notable severe weather in those areas, maybe some damaging winds or hail. Again, that'll be a, probably a lower threat than what we're expecting on Tuesday since the ingredients will not be fully together. Dew points heading into uh, late Tuesday as well. There will be a lot of moisture uh, really surging out of the Gulf of Mexico. So we'll probably see a lot of the dew points are going to really get up there in the upper 60s and low 70s. That's going to create a lot of buoyancy. So we're going to really have a primed environment again for maybe a severe weather outbreak. And instability as well going to be in the same story there. Not huge amounts, but we don't necessarily need that much instability for severe weather. So we're still talking about values it looks like for now 
now around a thousand joules per kilogram which is on a bit of the low side but we still have a lot of ingredients that are going to come together uh including the low level jet by next week it's going to really be really surging upwards of 60 to 70 knots so a very strong low level jet is expected next week and just a wide view of things here over the next several days again this is going into next week this is where the trough will be in comparison to where that severe weather event will be down in the south and southeast so really a very strong trough and that will bring a lot of colder air as well behind it so colder air is on the way for late next week across a large portion of the united states make sure to like button down below subscribe if you've not already this forecast is brought to my platinum contracting